Hey guys, I'm back, and I want to apologize for not being on here for so long, um, and there is good reason for that. I haven't been led in a long time to make a video, and as I said before, I don't do anything on YouTube unless I feel extremely called to do so by the Holy Spirit. Um, I don't take credit for anything on this channel. It's all the Holy Spirit's doing through me. I've been going through a lot, and the Lord has been working on me and has shown me a lot of things about myself that need work. I've been dealing with this internal battle that I can't even really put into words, and in the midst of that, He spoke to me in such a strong way. In my heart, word for word, He said, it seems like you hate the world more than you love me. And that shook me like no other. He made me realize that I need to start focusing on myself. You know, I had been working so hard trying to please him by evangelizing and teaching. And I realized the things that I was told to teach were really for me. Um, and I kind of knew that, but I didn't really meditate on those things for myself. I've always been better at giving advice than taking my own advice. <laughs> and then the other day I was laying in bed and out of nowhere, these words came to me. He said, you have shown me good works. Now show me a good heart. And that made me think like, I thought I had a good heart, but maybe I can do better. None of us is good, by the way. Um, only God himself is good. And the Lord Jesus Christ, who is God in the flesh. But I can love harder. I can feel deeper and have more compassion for others. And I've been reading the Bible, and it's been wonderful. I mean, there's so much power in that book, and it really does work on your heart. Um... The difference between reading the Bible and reading anything else, um, if you read anything else, the words, the knowledge goes into your head. But when you read the Bible, the knowledge goes into your head, but also your heart. And there's just something about the words. There's, there's power in those words. And I was reading about the importance of giving to the poor, and this is something that I've felt very deeply about for a while. And I had given um, to some homeless people, but my husband and I were talking about how we're here to develop God's character, and we're called to do a little more than just read about his character. We're called to live out what Jesus would do. So what better way to learn than to actually do things hands-on? And I remembered going somewhere with a friend of mine recently. On the way there, I saw so many homeless people camped out on the side of the road. I mean, it was like tent after tent after tent, and it just broke my heart. And I realized recently the reason that I was called to go with her to that event was to see that. So I knew where they were. I told my husband about it. We went to help them and hand out water on a hot day and food and you guys I know there's a stereotype or a stigma against homeless people but that's not good enough that's not a good enough reason to deny them because the real homeless people should not have to suffer because of the fake homeless people or the homeless people that are homeless and only want alcohol um, or drugs you know they were so appreciative. Every single one of them was dying to eat and drink, and they were so thankful. And that day, I felt closer to Jesus Christ than ever before. I felt his presence, and I felt like he was in me. Even though I know he's in me, sometimes we don't feel that way, you know, but I felt him in me and I just felt Holy Spirit you know after I 
went and gave things. And I'm not bragging by any means. I'm just sharing with you this experience because it just blessed me so much and humbled me. We got back in the car and we're like, we are so blessed. And our problems are so stupid. I mean, the things that we had complained about before going out there, we felt like fools for complaining. And I uh, noticed a lot of hatred from Christians. And it's really starting to bother me because the more I grow in Christ and the more he changes my heart, the more I love people despite their sin. I mean, we're not supposed to judge the sinner. We're supposed to judge the sin. And we're supposed to love the sinner. As Jesus said, he did not come to save the righteous. He came to save the sinners. And that's why they questioned him. Like, why are you sitting with these sinful people? Um, because he was there for them. And he's our shepherd. And we're his sheep. And we need him. We're all in need of a savior. And don't judge others because they sin differently than you. I think at this point, the Lord wants us to just lay off the arguments and tune in to him. And start writing down lists of people to pray for. And also pray to be strong enough to pray for them. Pray for the full armor of God. Pray for um, the blood of Jesus Christ to anoint you and your family and your home. Because we are in such a strong time for spiritual warfare. And I know I've been feeling it. Of course, once my husband and I went and helped the homeless people, it was like one negative thing after another. But we were being tested. And thank God for that. Because when you are tested, you grow. And just stay in prayer, stay in the word, pray that you will stay as close to God as possible in these times and that he will keep you in the shadow of his wing. Um, that's what I've been praying for. But anyway, I love you guys so much and I pray that you have a blessed day in the Lord. All right. God bless.